Today we're looking at the next round of upgrades for my turbocharged LS. These are upgraded rockers made by PRW. They're located here in Southern California, not too far from my house, actually about 45 minutes, maybe an hour to get there with no traffic. So like I said, these are upgraded rocker arms and although they look almost identical, if you're just casually looking at them, if I turn them over on their side a little bit, you guys can see what the obvious difference is between the left side, which is the factory LS rocker, and the right side, which is the PRW upgraded rocker. So the most obvious part is this section right here. And this part is actually known as the most common failure for a stock rocker arm, especially for rocker arms that have to handle higher spring pressures and maybe higher lift camshafts. They tend to break right here. I'm gonna put some pictures up on the screen of some examples that I was able to find out. That hasn't happened to me personally, but that is possible. What PRW has done is that they've actually created this casting and it does feel a couple ounces heavier. And the area that I spoke about earlier that was prone to cracking has now been upgraded and the area around it is much, much thicker. So the chances of you breaking one of these are very slim compared to an OEM rocker. The second thing you're going to notice is that, is that if you're looking at them from the sides, you have the standard trunnion on the left on the stock rocker, and then you have the trunnion upgrade on the right. It allows you to spin the rocker 360 degrees, so they're not limited at all by the amount of lift on your cam. If you have a factory set of rockers, you can see that they have a limited amount of movement that they can turn up and down. For most stock cams and for even some lower lift and lower duration aftermarket cams, this will give you plenty of room to run everything safely, but if you actually Actually turn the rocker a little bit and look on the inside you can see that you have access to the needle bearings right here and you can actually see them so something that I've seen is that these needle bearings will collapse the housing for it will collapse and the rocker will fall down the pieces of the needle bearings will then end up in your oil they'll end up in the pickup tube maybe in the oil pump and they could cause some serious damage Right here, you can't see the needle bearings. The way the PRW rockers and most aftermarket trunnions are set up is that you don't really see those needle bearings like you can on the factory rocker. Rockers with a trunnion upgrade don't necessarily have that problem of it collapsing, mainly because the whole point of the trunnion is to make everything stronger. If you guys move over to the back, you can see that the push rod area has also been upgraded. This is a much thicker casting. The pocket for the push rod remains almost identical, almost the same, but the area on top where the oil gets spit out of, it's a lot thicker. I have known that once the stock rockers get a little bit worn, the push rod will tend to push through this casting right here and break the rocker. You basically eliminate that from happening when you go with the thicker casting here. Like I mentioned, these do seem to be a couple ounces heavier than the stock rockers, but they're so much more stronger. PRW actually sells this rocker as a needle bearing style for the trunnion, just like we have here, very similar to the OEM style. And then they sell an even more upgraded version, which is called the bronze bushing, and that eliminates the needle bearings and basically it just runs similar to like a connecting rod or a main bearing and oil is facilitating the lubrication. So the bronze bushing version is actually a little bit more expensive. I don't know if there are enough benefits to spend the extra money to go to the bronze bushings, but I will find out and I'll try to get that info to you guys as soon as I can. If you take a look at your OEM rockers and everything looks okay, like the tip is still in good shape and the pocket for the push rod hasn't been completely worn out, you guys can kind of tell that this had a push rod that was running low on oil and it was really digging into this rocker. That's a big reason why I replaced this. I replaced it with another set that weren't so worn out. Those are the set on my truck, but now that I'm going to be pushing past the 600 horsepower mark, I wanted something a little bit stronger in order to help keep everything together. If your rockers are in decent shape and you're just looking to upgrade the rockers a little bit, PRW actually sells the Trunnion Upgrade Kit on its own and you could buy that, you can press these out, you just need a big vise. I've done it before on a different set of rockers. You can go ahead and go on PRW, buy the Trunnion Kits and then install them on your stock rockers. That won't make the rocker itself any stronger but at least you'll know that the needle bearings are gonna be in good shape and everything's gonna be a little bit more stable. Just like there are pros and cons with everything, this rocker is not without its own cons. So the biggest problem with this is that it is heavier than a stock rocker. So if you're already having problems with your valve train like 
like not enough spring pressure, things like that. Having a heavier rocker, which will have probably a little bit more inertia going up and down, will probably exaggerate the problem a little bit more. So if you have enough spring rate to compensate for the extra weight, then you're good to go. But if you're running something like stock springs and an NSR cam and you installed a set of these, probably not a good idea. I don't like no springs required cams anyway, but I like to rev my stuff out to six and 7,000 RPM. So that probably isn't applicable to everybody. While I was looking into these rockers, something that didn't really come to mind is deflection. So a basic explanation of that is when you have your rocker and the rocker pushes up against the valve, that valve is pushing back up against this rocker. And when you have rockers that are opening and closing 50 times per second, it feels like it's a really solid rocker right now. But if you move that at 50 times per second, the rocker will become a little bit more jello-y. That's when you start seeing some weird stuff happening in the valve train. By basically increasing the stiffness of the entire body, you prevent some of that deflection from happening. And that'll help you maintain stable valve train at events above 6,000, 6,500 RPMs. The upgraded rockers aren't necessarily for everybody. I'd say that somebody that's on a budget trying to do just the bare minimum, just trying to get their swap running, maybe wants to do some burnouts every once in a while. The stock rockers are probably going to be more than fine. But if you're planning to take your vehicles to the track, if you're planning to abuse them, if you're planning to see a lot of higher RPM and maybe a lot of cam lift and duration, I'd say that a set of rockers like these is a good cheap insurance. It'll help keep everything together. It'll prevent you from having to invest more money than you have to later on down the road. Anybody with a more mild to higher budget build should definitely consider upgrading these rockers. Like I said, my Turbo LS is already pushing past 600 horsepower. Every time I rev it up that high, I always get super nervous because I feel like I'm going to break these things. Once I install these, I'm not going to worry about it at all. I'm just going to send it. And after a couple trips to the track and several thousand miles, I'll show you how these guys have been handling. We're going to go through them and we're going to check them out. The next thing on my list to show you guys are these billet aluminum rocker stands. That's going to be its own separate video because I'm going to tell you guys how my engine blew up on the dyno because I didn't replace these. So that's all for today. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher out.